Uh, Ramesh, many congratulations. You've just won one of the biggest cash prizes for innovation and invention. Now, did you have a sense that your research was going to be as breakthrough as it was? And what do you plan to do with this money now? Ankita, uh, thank you. It's kind of still sinking in, you know, and kind of in today's world, it's kind of bizarre to just put one person's name uh, on an award because it's really my team uh, and collaborators worldwide who have contributed to it, whether it's a camera that can see around corners yeah. or as you're showing our solution called iNetra that can give prescription on your eyeglasses. So, you know, things like this, you know, invention that can, you know, really make an impact in a sort of mobile phone that goes into a binocular, click through it, you know, gives you prescription for your eyeglasses. Um, and a lot of the work we are doing at W Prasad Eye Institute in Hyderabad or with Wellington Institute in Mumbai or with TCS Foundation in Nasik called uh, DISC or for Kumbh Mela, a lot of this work is in, in, in collaboration with a lot of people. So it's, it's really an award that recognizes that in today's world, we can have invention and impact uh, at the same time. And as, as, as far as the, the prize is concerned, it's kind of a, an amazing amount um, and uh, what we're going to do is actually start a, a new platform called redx.io that's creating a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, invention platform you all know about online learning and peer-to-peer -peer learning but we are creating a peer-to-peer -peer invention platform for young people and we're actually putting cash behind it so anybody can go online and apply at uh, redx.io that's absolutely EDX. fabulous, uh, Ramesh. Now, India, as you know, ranks quite low on the innovation list, 66 on a list of some 125 odd countries. So this perhaps could spur some kind of uh, uh, revolution almost. But why do you think really the larger question, uh, we rank so low? How would you suggest uh, we fix this? I think, I think we have, uh, you know, I mean, you know, we have amazing uh, culture and history. It's beautiful. Uh, but often it has been very hierarchical and and the knowledge has been transferred from generations. But I think in today's world, it's all peer to peer. It's learning from each other. Uh, it's a very dynamic world and we have to really foster that peer to peer learning. Uh, and people come to MIT not to just to get an education or to learn, but work with other people uh, as such. So it's peer to peer invention uh, is what really, um, you know, and problem solving is really what stimulates the curiosity you know, the mind that will go and solve biggest problems. So I truly believe that for countries like India to really, you know, take the leap, we have to jump away from hierarchical more of education and learning and more to peer to peer.